Hello there. I'm here in old familiar Newstead Abbey in the whistle-free safe haven from street misogyny known as the county of Nottinghamshire. I've come once again to chase the ghosts of Lord Byron and his menagerie of animal companions up and down a series of increasingly weird gardens. But this time it's different because I'm munted. The headlines this month, bong! A nefarious legion of alt-right propagandists descending on the capital has attempted to lay siege on our system of, of weather satellites and advanced political journalism balloons pictured here. Having declared that we do indeed have a license for that disruption to air traffic control, London Mayor Sadiq Khan, pictured here, said in a recent statement, What? It's just a bit of fun. I, <laughs> I believe strongly in the principle of freedom of speech. Who am I to tell anyone, <laughs> tell anyone what they can and can't do? 200 Twitter accounts in the past 24 hours have been terminated for agreeing with Mr. Khan's statements. Bong! Also, another legion of completely ideologically different uh, sectors of the alt-right has descended on Australia to, to cannibalise the Aborigine population and rape the sons of Somali immigrants. But neither of which did nothing after all. The First Nations were black, the Last Nations will be black. The only problematic nation is the white bit in the middle. Everyone knows that's the worst bit of any Oreo. Henceforth, Australia is currently being bombed and nerve-cast by some Russian hack and some Russian pin who should know better than to go where they're not welcome, which in practice is only the parts of the country that smell distinctly of scabby goats and pistachios and rape victims. The moral of the story is, if you want to get rid of the racist dogs you don't like, don't leave it to the gormless locals to feebly woof at them with their protruding inbred overbites. Get yourself some guard Muslims. And whenever you do, you don't call them racist, or they will bite your fucking hands off. Disagree with me and you're a disruptive racist. Whoop! Oh, and a third bong! And a, th and a, th a third clandestine mob has invaded the, sh the shores of the already surely doomed United Kingdom in the form of a brand new mutation of the alt-right menace known as the Men's Rights Movement. Uh, this is what happens. People, first it was the alt-right, then the alt-right created the anti-feminists, and then the anti-feminists created the unimaginable combination of, 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 all, of, all, of the, all of these nightmares. People are seriously advocating for the human rights of men, people. We, we shan't talk about what went on in their insidious conference full of woman-hating man-babies, or that it's the fourth conference they've held since 2014. Because that would make it look like they were here first, and everyone else is stealing their shit and dumbing it down for the idiot masses. None of this is real, you see? Shut up. MRAs uh, only just came into existence this summer, and we've already killed their movement. Dead. Will you say so? You thought rapists were bad. You thought incels were even worse. These people are both somehow. They're a, they're a group of exclusively white men who, 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 who stick their dicks in the shells of mollusks because they can't even find a small child to rape. Pick unrelated. In many other newses, I've also replaced the heads of other famous memes with the heads, logos, or just names of things I like and or don't like. I'm gonna put Trump's head over there. I'm gonna put Khan's head over there. I'm gonna write modern politics on that thing that looks dead. <laughs> I'm going to scroll the words Ben Garrison on that pile of horse shit over there. I'm going to put the Twitter logo there. I'm going to put the Facebook logo there. I'm going to put the logo of some bullshit I've never heard of over there. Because <laughs> that's how we do politics now. Pardon me, I'm just excited about the corruption and repeated death cycle of our communication technology. But not to worry, no one will hear it. Except the other space slippers under the shadow ban blanket. They told me I was screaming into the void. But all along, they were staring into the abyss. Sense! Sense! I need to talk your stinking sense! Where was I? Oh yeah, in, in other and unrelated news, Theresa May, pictured here, is being, being descended on by various wings of the alt-right and harassed into a sad corner by their fascist howlings on account of her triumphant Brexit success in stealing the referendum from the Leave voters and handing it over to the Remain voters like the stealthy little Robin Hood from Bizarro Welch he is. See, this way, the overwhelmingly wealthy and decadent Remain voters get exactly what they wanted 
and yet they can forever blame anything that goes wrong on the overwhelmingly poor and working class leave voters who didn't get what they voted for. Isn't democracy wonderful? Not only can you steal from the poor and give to the rich, you can do it while blaming the aforementioned poor for your own callous, self-serving, frankly treasonous actions. And then you can go ahead and ban from political office anyone who has ever criticized or made fun of you in a public forum. Because while we're busy spreading democracy to the East and the Third World, whether they like it or not, over here, <laughs> We're getting to work shoving democracy into a stool bucket and whipping it into a vindaloo made of God's shit and the devil's salty, salty semen. Yeah, I heard somewhere there's a legal loophole that allows us to execute people for high treason, if it's high enough. I say we enact it. On the next goddamn Ramona who says boo to a fucking goose, you people are taking the piss now. Decent people are leaving the country in droves because of the shit you're pulling. You should be the ones leaving. The ones committing high fucking treason should be leaving. And you should be the effigies we burn on bonfire night from now on. Because the shit Guy Fawkes pulled was nothing, fucking nothing, compared with the travesty these bastards are committing. Fuck all of these noises. Fuck no noise! Oh Jesus, how did you get here? I am everywhere! No you're not. You're much closer to nowhere on account of being fictional. What are you doing wandering around in the bloody rain looking at random green shit? Who do you think you are, David Bastarding Attenborough? Bugger off and kill the population, you hack! You're only doing this because I brought you, you know? I brought you and neglected to actually use you for any fan-related stuff, so I'm just getting my money's worth out of you. Well, my bag space worth. You're doing this because you need a second voice and I'm the only puppet you brought! Admit it! I have monopolized you! I beg to differ. Kill all! What the fuck are you? I am your doom! Yeah! <laughs>